Richard, uh, changing the subject a little bit, uh, what are you working on now? I understand you're working on a, a bio, which is something new for you, correct? Yeah, it, it, well, basically it's the Garrett Morse project. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It. You're familiar with Garrett, Garrett mm -hmm. Morse, of course. Of course, Steve, he's actually been on the show. Um, interesting man, interesting man. Yeah, the book is called In the Shadow of the Bully Boys, mm -hmm. and that basically sums up the book. Uh, you know, you've got these huge personalities on that show, mm -hmm. and so many of them have been chronicled. You know, John Belushi and and uh, you know Gilda Radner, and, and some of the people. You know, and even the Steve Martin people are still alive today. Mm -hmm. um, but I, Garrett Morse is just one of those characters that I just I thought that if I didn't write something about him, that it just wouldn't. Nothing would happen. You know, people would mm -hmm. forget. And I just didn't want that to happen. I was such a big fan. It was uh, quite the underdog. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. Yes, what? And um, you, of course, certainly are not the underdog. You're currently on a um, a college speaking tour. Correct? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Um, it's 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 what I call the twenty schools in twenty days tour. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's one of those in and out um, speaking at uh, bookstores and uh, auditoriums mm -hmm. and um, some communities as well. Not it's not solely college, but it's mm -hmm. it's basically just a college tour. Just promoting the book. Um, meeting a lot with with journalism students to journalism schools, which, like I say, is a little ironic since you of I course actually did not finish. Yeah. School, correct? Um, well, I, not really. I, I I have about twelve credits to go, mm -hmm. and I never took like government and, and whatnot. So I I don't think I'm gonna go back though. I'm, I don't really. You don't think you regret it though? No. 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 Definitely not. Well, that's good to hear. Richard, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Oh. I look forward to the Garrett Morris bio. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan. Right. Thanks for being on. All right, well, thanks for having me on. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Jackie Reeves. Thank you. Uh, my next guest tonight is a former professional football player for the National Football League, a inductee into the Hall of Fame, and is currently the CEO of... Reeves International Business Solutions and the author of this book, The Business of Winning. Please welcome Jackie Reeves. Jackie, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me very much. Yeah. Jackie, let me ask you a little bit right here uh, at the top of the interview about, uh, about your book, Business of Winning. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, The Business of Winning is, uh, uh, the main focus is to maximize your potential with limited resources. Now, we know that uh, everyone can't be uh, completely talented and intellectually sound and have the wherewithal financially and that sort of thing. So I think sometimes what we need to do is just give everyone a chance to make their own way. And that way may be made by being a tenacious worker, somebody who's putting forth a, a great effort, mm -hmm. sometimes can overcome some of the things that we don't possess. True, true. Um, you know, I want to shift, uh, shift the conversation a little bit here, Jackie. In 1979, I took my son to see you play, actually. Uh, I believe it was at the Meadowlands, and uh, when you were with the Giants, of course, we were with the Giants for several years, and before that with the Falcons of Atlanta. And uh, I believe you played the Chicago Bears that day. Did so, we end up winning the yeah, game? Of course you won. Well, that's good. It was quite a day, quite a day. We had some lean years there. Yeah, yes, you did. Uh, speaking of lean years, Jackie, do you ever regret that you didn't win a Super Bowl? Well, when you're a professional football player, getting that ring is probably one of the most important things that, that can happen to a player. But on the other hand, I had such great fortune uh, with just the people that I met and the, the camaraderie and, and not only with my teammates, but also that the people that were backing us, the fans, had some tremendous fans in lean years. And you know how tough it is to, to keep people coming, you know, if you're not mm -hmm. winning. Keep backing them in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I, I don't have any uh, bitter feelings about not winning a Super Bowl. I, I, I think that we did have the opportunity on two occasions, but uh, we just came up a little bit short. True. And uh, those occasions and, of course, that camaraderie you speak of, you also speak about a lot in your book. Um, you know, Jackie, the, the, the self-help book, it's a very saturated market. And uh, where, where do you think where do you think the business of winning? Where do where do you think that follows in that market? Well, I think you know if you could just do the best with what you have. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes we 
put together all these formulas as, as you've seen in these other books and of course self-help tapes and there's a guru on every corner so um, I think that if you can just focus a little bit on yourself first before you put that into a teamwork equation I think that you're going to come out a little bit better mm -hmm. uh, sometimes first we have to fix me and uh, um, of course, I, I didn't have the speed that most of the fellows did in my day when I was playing football, mm -hmm. but, uh, but I overcame that by, by working real hard. And you had the arm. I, had the I arm. did have an arm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, I did. Kind of overcame the speed factor. Uh, what do you say, Jackie, what do you say to critics that are just basically saying your book is just the same old thing? It's just a rehashing of all the other books of the, of the genre, everything from, you know, the, I don't know, women are from Venus, men are from Mars books to, you know, chicken soup for the soul. What do you say to those? What do you say to those? Well, I probably would have to reiterate the fact that there's something unique about everyone. Mm -hmm. And what I have to offer people is my particular bent on this subject. Mm -hmm. And I think that what we have to offer personally to each other is, is how we come together as a as a, a people and a, as a civilization mm -hmm. to to better ourselves and to better the people that are around us so uh, I think that any input whether it be mine or even if you wrote a book Lonnie uh, I'm sure that people would have a particular interest in in, in taking a look at that just because it's you mm -hmm. so uh, I think that uh, in the mix of things it's it's good to just go ahead and put it out there and uh, and I think I've got enough fans as far as uh, people that like me for who I am that, that maybe they'd like to, to take a look at what I think. Uh, well, you do have fans. I can't argue that. Yes, and I understand. I understand you're actually working a little bit of an acting career. I understand you oh. just, just did a uh, oh, little boy. TV movie with uh, Mr. Jerry Reed, who uh, well, we actually had on the show. He's a very funny guy. Well, Jerry Reed and I go way back. We mm -hmm. gig Frogs Long Mississippi. So, uh, you know, we've... He cornered me into that when I I didn't particularly uh, uh, seek out that opportunity. But when he asked me, of course, I, I went on the the uh, uh, went down to see them film when they were filming Smoking a Bandit, and mm -hmm. of course he introduced me to Jackie Gleason and and Burt Reynolds at the time. Sally Field was down there, and I thought she was awful special, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I never thought I'd ever uh, get in a situation like that, but uh, just a short part as a cameo appearance, and uh, I was real nervous. I was yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. So, sure can throw that football, can't you, Jackie? I used to be able yeah. to. I, I, you know, uh, these kids today are are incredible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the arms like Elway and uh, Mac uh, Marino, and mm -hmm. uh, these guys are throwing that ball so far mm -hmm. and uh, so accurate as well. Um, it, just to kind of bring back to, to to the forefront of my book a little bit, Doug Flutie's an awful short player, and I tell you, nobody gave him a chance, and you know what, to to be anything in the football. Uh, professional football and and what he did in the uh, Marino and mm -hmm. uh, these guys are throwing that ball so far mm -hmm. and uh, so accurate as well um, it, just to kind of bring back to, to to the forefront of my book a little bit Doug Flutie's an awful short player and I tell you nobody gave him a chance and you know what to to be anything in the football uh, professional football and and what he did in the Canadian Football League and now what he's doing in New England is just tremendous to overcome uh, uh, the fact that no one thought he could do it and his tenacious effort has really brought him into mm -hmm. the forefront. I tell you what, Jackie, I hate to cut you off, but I'm getting the signal. It's, we're about out of time for uh, this episode. Uh, the book is, of course, The Business of Winning by Jackie Reeves. Jackie, I wish you luck. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And thank you for watching the show this week. Uh, join us next week when my guest will be rock journalist Bill Jurgens. So stay tuned for that one. Thank you. Thank you, Jack.